Perfect. That was it. My shot right there. Hard work's paying off, guys. <laughs> Look at that. You know what up? You know what day it is? It's time to go shoot some Whitney Bond videos. You know what it is? It's your boy Jannar, big dog in the building. And are you ready for another journey with me today? Anyway, let's get going. Man, I gotta go on the road right now. It's, uh, it's about 7.30, so I'm heading to North PV. And there's gonna be some traffic, so I need to go ahead and head out, so I can go ahead and set up. And I'm gonna show you the setup and everything for these tasty style videos with Whitney Bond. North out for now. I'm at Harvard Business School. There's a life altering experience learning in school, and then it has to have like, dreams to man hustle. Stupid has to have dreams don't have deadlines. I'm gonna talk to you guys for a minute. I'm actually almost over to Whitney's place, but I thought I'd give you guys a uh, quick little uh, update on what's going on in my life. Uh, I think maybe in the next couple episodes, I might do a video of just me ranting about stuff that I think might be really cool for people to like. That might be inspiring, actually. Um, but anyway, so updates. Um, so we're going into the month of December, which actually hits my nine year anniversary for the NARCast, which is really awesome. Um, because we started out nine years ago as a podcast that has turned into a full on, so most people will call it a blog, I call it a medium, a media platform. Um, because I host podcasts, I write articles, I have video series. So basically, I'm just a network of a bunch of stuff. So, and I think that's awesome. But, um, but yeah, I mean, having a company, there's always the ups and downs. I think right now, I'm always busy, but it's slow, if that makes sense. Like, I'm busy, but yet, business is slightly slow. And what I mean by that is, I got work, but it's just like busy work. It's not like work that's going to make put 10 G's in, in my bank account tomorrow. It's just like work that's like maybe going to pay my car note or, you know, pay half my, my rent or something. Um, and, you know, what I like to encourage people is, you know, embrace the hard times because hopefully for most people, hard times are only, is, is very temporary. So like, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, you know, I'm a little, I'm struggling a little bit right now to make the ends meet. And, uh, and that's how it is every uh, month. Well, not every month, but every end of the year for me. Usually it picks up right at the beginning of the month or the beginning of the year. So I'm not too uh, worried about it. But, you know, um, I don't know if that's too much information for all my, my current viewers or followers right now. But, again, this is all about me. Uh, I just want you guys to know, like, what I'm going through. Uh, dig, I want you to dig into to my life, you know. There's always those constant worries. Like right now, I'm, I mean, I'm stuck in traffic. I'm scared. I'm not even going to make it over to Whitney's uh, right now. Because, you know, as you guys noticed in episode two, my car broke down. Uh, and I think it's due to stuff like this, just stop and go traffic. I don't understand why it does that. I don't understand why there's traffic right now. But, I mean, it happens, you know. I mean, it's, it's seven. It's almost eight o'clock. It is eight o'clock. And I mean that's the peak of traffic, so that's you know I'm in a big city, and that's expected. You know, I could have got up earlier, but I didn't. I mean I tried to. I don't even know what I was saying because apparently this phone ran out of hard drive space, so um, so it pretty much lost that whole rant. So long story short, yeah, just uh, follow me on this journey. Again, I'm gonna show you how we do these tasty style. We call them tasty style videos which is basically the stuff you see on social. Uh, very user friendly when it comes to the social media because you don't have to like really listen to it. You can just basically be shown how to, you know, do make the recipe just by just seeing it, the overlay of it. So uh, but anyway, so I'm gonna just give you, again, just give you little tips and stuff just to show you how we do it. And then when, I'm, and when I go home and ingest all the footage, I'll, um, I'll show you the post-production stuff. Today's not starting out like I wanted to, but it's okay. It happens, you know. I'm running on about what two hours of sleep, three hours this today. So 
uh, I figured get that extra hour of sleep today because I could have left at seven, but I didn't think uh, traffic will take it'll take me an hour to get get to my destination when normally it will take 30 minutes in traffic, but it happens. I already told her I was going to be running late. Um, it's already 8.23, so just keep in mind, that's a whole hour that it took me to get just the PB. Alright guys, be doing some Tasty Style videos with the homie Whitney Bond. As I promised, I was going to show you the setup. So here's what we got going on right here. Got my overlay shot here with the viewing monitor, thanks to Noor. Here's my setup. As you can see, we're, fog we're fogging up a little bit, but it's fine. Because we got this shot here. Here's our side angle shot. As you can tell, I'm at 50 shutter speed with the f-stop of 9, ISO 800. My overlay is 1000 ISO. I can bring that down to 800, but I'll probably do it later. And my f-stop is 11. That's what we're working with right now. And rem rem let me remind you guys, since um, the focus is basically the food, I like a higher f-stop just so that most of the things are in focus. Because that's what you kind of want. Because you don't want a shallow depth of field. You want more of a... Um, uh, you just want like a, a higher f-stop so you can get a lot of stuff in focus. Cool. And then as you can see, our network all natural light. We got the window here. I got a white card here. We turned off the lights so that we can just basically have the natural light hitting. And yeah, we're car what are we doing? Carmelas and some uh, apples. Caramelizing some pears. Yeah. To go on a big green bread bowl. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. All right. On to the next one. While the other ones in the st on the stove in the uh, in the oven baking, we're working on the next one here. Just getting the shot set up. As you can tell, we're all good to go. Using my Canon on this one. Using Whitney's uh, camera for the side shot. 24 to 105 macro lens, and then the 50 macro lens on this one. Uh, it's a 2.5. This one's a four. F4. Right now, I'm currently, I think, uh, if you know anything about f stops and stuff, I think I'm at like maybe 5.6 on this one here just for lighting purposes, and I'm at 9 here. Might actually bump that down to maybe 8 or even 7, just because as you can tell here on the corner there, it's a little dark there because we have. A bigger pot with the light not really hitting that over there, but it's fine. Still gonna look good though. Ain't that right, Whitney? Hell yeah! Oh. What are you making? See, my camera's fogging up. Let's... Mm -hmm. What are you making? Buffalo chicken cheesy penne, the most popular recipe of all time on WhitneyBond.com. Yeah. There we go. Get that shit work. At least I got the side shot though. I'll figure it out. Look at that, y'all. Looks good. The sauce smells good too. I can smell that barbecue mm. sauce. Looks buffalo really sauce. Oh yeah, buffalo sauce. Yeah. My bad, my bad. It's alright, Jay. Mm hmm Jarnard. <laughs> Perfect. That was it. Money shot right there. And I got it on camera. Woo! Oh. Alright. Hard work's paying off, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. This is two of the four meals that we're working on. Wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it. Bam. Bam. Yeah, man. And what was this again? Beef ragu. Yeah. One Feasting. To go. One more day. We got one more to go. All right, Whitney Bond, how you feeling? We're down to it. We're almost finished. Almost time. Yeah. All right. Can't wait to dig into this. All right, guys. I'm actually packing up. We just finished the Whitney Bond shoot. Here's uh, everything in the, the little ass Miata. So, so yeah. Successful shoot. About to go to CPK, so I'll see you in a minute. There it is. 
California pizza kitchen. Yeah. Free meal, man. Kitchen, man. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Pure goodness. All right, guys, just made it home. Got changed, ingesting the footage now as we speak. Once it's ingested, we'll look into the uh, footage and start working on it. Till then, though, I don't know if you guys know me. Um, this wall here was starting to crack, and I believe it was because uh, a bat was bad plumbing. There was a pipe inside the wall that needed replacement, so got that fixed. And uh, now what I'm about to do now is I'm about to, bam, do like the first taste. I've had this pizza before, but oh my God, if it's not so good, man, even when it's cold, it's not that cold. I wanted to take it home because I just wanted one slice for now. And then I'll box it, put it, put them in little sandwich bags and just eat them throughout the week. I love me some leftover pizza, man. But anyway. Here we are. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you, bro, this pizza, so good. But guess how much this pizza cost? It was $15, bro. But you do get a nice amount of pizza, but still. It's pretty expensive. That looks like, what, a medium, maybe? But that's all you need, though. Good quality pizza. California Pizza, ki pizza Kitchen. Check it out. All right, guys. About to eat this pizza. Listen to some Breakfast Club. I also have the footage in Jensen. Look at that, man. It's taking a minute, right? Like 33 minutes, 30 minutes for about 28.8 gigs and then 29.4 gigs. But it's also because my hard drive that I'm importing that stuff to is almost to the full capacity. So I'm trying to delete some stuff while I'm uploading it. So Hopefully it won't give me some error and then I have to re-upload that, re-ingest that stuff. But once that happens, I'm going to create, I already actually have a project file. So I'm just going to open up the project file, start dumping that stuff in and start working on it. Just so I can go ahead and get this out, get the first drafts out today. Then I'll work on some articles. While this is ingesting, I'm going to listen to some Breakfast Club, which is one of my favorite radio shows. And on top of that... I'm going to map out my to-do list for today. It's a bunch of other stuff I got to do while I'm working. So I got to stay productive. Uh, like I said, I'm running a little low on energy, but I'm very confident I can get this stuff done today. And so that way tomorrow can be another productive day on other things that I got to do. So, all right, till then, uh, we'll check back in later. All right, guys, so pretty much... About an hour, hour and a half later, again, it was taking like 38 minutes to upload. Uh, and I actually didn't have enough hard drive space. Whoop -de I knew that was going to happen. Um, so I ended up, it ended up crashing. Not necessarily crashing, but like four to five files or video files per card ended up not transferring over. So since that happened, I was in the process of writing an article. So I actually ended up posting, not posting, but scheduling a post. So that took about 30, 40 minutes. And then I finished watching Breakfast Club. But now, as you can see, I have everything laid out. Uh, so this is going to be, uh, what we worked on today was recipes 28 to 31. And I also have, and I also have my uh, project file up. As you can see, this is basically my project file for all these Whitney Bond recipes. So as you can see, I've already been doing a lot. And uh, so what I'm going to probably do now is pretty much add all the files from recipes 28 through 31 on the project file here. So let me go ahead and get that process going. All right. So as you know from my behind the stick tutorial that I did back in episode two, I generally like to color coordinate. So right now I got cam one selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and select cam one here. 
This is where I'm gonna put all my CAM1 files in. So I'm gonna go back over here to this screen and then I'm gonna drag in all these files. Drag them right on over here to CAM1. Sorry about that guys. I actually just got a um, a call, a spam call just now. Don't you hate when you get those uh, spam calls? Like I get this call like almost three times a day. Uh, it's from a 619 number, I hate it. I can't figure out who it is when I pick up. It's like an automated voice thing. So I'm just like, I'm just start declining it. So anyway, so the files are there. So I'm gonna just do something real quick. I'm gonna um, color coordinate these uh, green here, just because this is the, this is, so just, just so that way when I'm looking at my timeline, as you can see here, looking at one that I did a long time ago, you can just tell like, Obviously, the green here is Cam 1, this is Cam 2, this is my music track, and then these, um, I guess this lavender color are my um, are my graphics here. So anyway, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and import Cam 2, and then when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and start looking at Camera 1's footage for one of the recipes. Alright, so what I ended up doing was going, I went ahead and cheated a couple steps. Uh, the first thing I did was once I uploaded all of Cam 1 and Cam 2's footage into that recipe 28 and 31 folder, I went ahead and separated each recipe into its own folder and then took all the individual files that pertain to that recipe into that folder. So, for example, you can see here um, I already got... Uh, I don't remember if you noticed I had a whole bunch of other recipe folders. Um, I ended up cleaning that up, put dropping that into the old folder. So that way I can just work on this week's projects. And so now as you can see, I can go ahead and move this too and put that in the old. Uh, but anyway, so now when you look, click down on 28, now I have all the files that I need to work on that pertains to that file. See, as you can see, that's my Cam 1 footage and my Cam 2 footage. But see, I can just minimize that. And now what I can do is I can play around with this and make this a little bigger for my viewing purposes. Focus, focus. And uh, so that way, I'm all set. And as you can see, when I'm doing these recipes, I'm going to have one that's going to be uh, a square and then a one regular 1920 by 1080. Most people call it just regular rectangle. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and create a square version. And I already have a preset. But anyway, I just wanted to show you um, basically how I have my my first monitor. Just so that way I can just have it blow. I can blow this up, have that up like that. Man, those... Yeah, see? Okay, there we go. So anyway, and then on this screen, I have recipe 28 basically already up and running. So I can, so now I know what's my first shot, whatever. Um, and if I get confused, obviously I won't get confused. So I know this is my cam one shots. And then these down here are obviously my cam two shots. And then on this monitor, uh, right, usually I don't have it up like this all at you know all the time, but most of the time I will have uh, another screen up so that way I can just um, I can just browse through and make sure that I'm putting the recipe. This is like my final step is when I'm put adding the recipes and stuff. So that way I can kind of have this up and also have these two screens up, or I can just minimize this this screen up right here and then drag this screen over there. And then I can have these two screens right next to each other. So for now, I don't really need this screen too much, but just to kind of maybe follow it to make sure I'm, I'm not missing a step. But generally, that's all I need. So now, I don't have to worry about music because Whitney Bond picks the music. So all I'm going to do now is just basically go from start to finish. And uh, our goal is to try to get all these in under a minute or at a minute. And if I know I'm gonna be over, I know I can at least treat the Facebook square and the Facebook rectangle. Um, I could treat, I can make that go a little longer because you don't want these super fast. Because basically, you see the people sped up and all that good stuff. Because um, the point in this, you kind of want to still be able to see the recipe and see the ingredients going into it. 
So anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my square sequence and my rectangle sequence for recipe 28, which is the herb, butter, rack of lamb. That I don't know if we showed you any of that uh, at our shoot. But I'm starting on this one first because this is actual sponsored one by Bonds for Whitney Bonds. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one done to hopefully tonight. Um, it's like 4.45, so it'll probably take me about two hours just to get the first draft done. Well, probably even a little longer just because I, I once I lay it out and make it fast, um, then I have to go back and do all the text or, or the captions or whatever. Then export it, upload it, then I have to do the rectangle version and then maybe shift stuff around um, to make it back to normal if I need to and then upload that one. So anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the sequence and stuff like that and go ahead and get it kind of started just so you can kind of see it and then I'll, I'll show you little things from time to time. All right guys, different day, same shirt. But um, I ended up working on it and finishing it, finishing the first draft yesterday, so now I'm kind of working on the um, final. And I just want to show you real quick on how I look, what it looks like. And this is the Instagram version you're looking at. So that's pretty much it. Um, I added the text. I did all that stuff today, this morning. Um, so I didn't get the re recipe until yesterday, but uh, or to this morning, um, the next day, obviously. Um, so yeah, um, was able to knock it. It was like about a minute twenty, um, but that's going to be for Facebook. And then this version you'll see on Instagram that I just showed you. Um, that one, I had to make it a little faster, as you can tell. The cuts were a little bit faster. It was it was a little sped up. But uh, I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna actually post this in the show notes. This version and also the Facebook version uh, once it's approved, just so that you can kind of see th th how fast 20 seconds can be, uh, or the big difference between a 120 version versus a minute version. But with seeing all the whole the whole step, if that makes sense, I don't know. Anyway, um, all right, well that's it, man. Thanks for watching my whole journey with the Whitney Bond stuff. Um, I think for the rest of the day, I'm gonna work on the rest of the Whitney Bond videos, and um, I guess from there I'll uh, get, obviously check some emails. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at all those emails, man. 53 unread emails. But what's cool though, this all came in one day, like within like the last 12 hours or even eight hours. And uh, also, as you notice, I like to label some of my stuff so I can always get back to it. Like this is all editorial stuff. This is like uh, behind the stick. I also have uh, a label for like in the kitchen and all those other things. So that, that way I can just kind of uh, be organized, you know, and then I also if you look over here, I have different um, folders uh, Which also helps like which is really cool because now with folders I can drag and drop stuff in folders so I can kind of just you know Look through it and as you can see um, I have a folder for Comic-Con 2017 I actually just created one for 2018, so I just got approved to go to Comic-Con uh, next year. So definitely be looking out for that. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what other type of tutorials or other types of stuff that you guys want to see. Uh, it's always a pleasure sh uh, giving you guys a chance to see what I go through in my life. Uh, be looking out for like rants, tutorials, uh, my opinions about stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, equipment review, book reviews, uh, music reviews, all kinds of stuff, man. Because I feel like, uh, I, and this is just for me too. So I'm just super stoked to keep keep the vlog going. Um, and there's going to be a lot that I want to showcase in this vlog. You know, it's going to get personal. I might, I might even talk about 
my new journey on my fitness, my health. I had like a little health, not a health scare, but I'll be honest with you, my blood pressure is high. And um, and with the with the stress and the anxieties and stuff of of everyday life, you know, I'm trying to find ways to, to cope and to meditate and to, to do all that good stuff. So I want you guys to join me on my journey of, of A, success, B, a new healthier lifestyle, and C, um, that's it, just A and B. All right, guys, as always, it's your boy Jannar, the big dog in the building, and I'm out. Peace.